Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So I want to come on here and talk about this NeNe Leaks drama that's once again, you know, surfacing on the internet. So if you guys don't know, last year, um, Bryson, who is NeNe Leaks' oldest son, his third baby mama, she was out here blasting NeNe Leaks, saying that, you know, NeNe didn't want them together and saying that NeNe was saying to her, why would you have the baby? It's going to be a drug baby. You know, my son's on drugs. She also went on to say that Bryson was dirty. All he did was sniff cocaine all day. He didn't shower. He had skid marks in his drawers. Yeah, she went there. She was talking cold shit about this dude. Then somebody contacted me and said, hey, I just want to let you know what's going on. That NeNe did a, a, a press interview or conference. I got to reread it. And... She's telling people not to work with you at all. That you are bad for business and all this other stuff. Not to work with you. I'm bad for business? Child, please. You got five grandkids out here and only claim one of them. You trying to throw it out there that you are an awesome grandma. But you got five grandkids and only claim one of them. But I'm bad for business. You telling everybody I'm thirsty, but just before, when you first got rich, you was telling people, dig for gold. Don't be ashamed if, if somebody call you a gold digger. But I'm bad for business? Hmm. Well, guess what? I'm not the type to sit quiet. You know what I'm saying? And then for Bryce to tell me that since my he knows my baby is well taken care of, he don't got to take, like, he don't feel like he need, I need him. That shit is stupid. And that shows that everything Bryce is doing shows that he was not loved the right way when he was a child. He was not loved when he was a child. Because he's doing the same thing that his mother did to him is what he's doing to my baby and his other kids you know what i'm saying no bryce has five kids brent doesn't have any but the same thing he the way he was treated when he was a child is how he's doing my baby bryce wants a family bryce wants to be loved bryce wants to love but bryce doesn't have it in him and doesn't know how to because he wasn't you understand what i'm saying he wasn't his mama didn't take care of him he was raised by his mother's aunt so, in that sense, I give him the benefit of the doubt because he doesn't know any better. But at the same time, he a 30, a 30 year old man. And you got five kids. Then you're going to tell me that my son is very well taken care of. Okay, your other baby mama don't even got custody of y'all's kids. Neither one of y'all do. But you still sleeping around with her. You still doing cocaine with her. Somebody tell me, am I stupid or am I stupid? It got so bad that um, eventually I think Nene called into Armand's show. Uh, Bryson ended up calling in. And then she admitted that, yeah, she has issues with them and that she's trying to be an actress and be on television, okay? So that was what went down in 2018. Well, now she's back at it. And once again, she's trying to drag Nene into her fuck shit. So what's going on now is this. She basically posted a picture of Bryson, ugh, knocked out sleep on the couch, one leg on the back of the couch, the other one on the couch, and his hand is in his damn drawers, okay? And he's knocked out. He just looks like he's the king of the living room, doesn't have a care in the world or a fucking job, okay? These are the bum-ass dudes that I tell females to run from. When you go to work, ladies, and you work the eight-hour shift and you come home to that, day in, day out, Bitch, I got to give you the side eye. Because when I come home, there's nobody in my living room camped out like that, scratching their balls and their legs on the back of my motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, expensive-ass couch. You got life messed up. So, again, I got to give this sister the side eye. Let me go ahead and read to you guys what she wrote on Instagram. She says, let me tell y'all something. This buckethead bitch that's laid up on my old couch, he want to make amends with me and be cool, as y'all seen throughout the year but still continue to do dumb shit. I don't care about what he does as long as he takes care of our son. 
Anywho, he goes to tell me he wants to do TV with me because he knows my personality and attitude will make for good TV. Plus, he wants to look like a bum getting out of a Lamborghini. Well, bitch, you got the bum part down to a T. Then I got a message from all types of bitches saying they seen him doing cocaine in hotels. So I say never mind to doing anything with him. Now here we are, another year and Blaze's birthday comes. He told everyone he was coming to Blaze's party. Did he show? Nope. Did he call to tell BK happy birthday? Nope. But days later calls me asking when I'm ovulating so we can have another child. The motherfucker ain't bought a sock, diaper, pull up, bottle, Happy Meal, nothing for Blaze. Yet always asking me for money or to order him a pizza because he's hungry. He won't get a penny from me. Lanethia Johnson leaks. Please get your grown son. Although he's living with his dad, I know and understand why Nene would not allow him to live with her nor be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. 30 years old and a bum. There's so much more. Sorry, but I'm done trying to help his ass. In the voice of the cast, the door is closed. Bryson Rashant Brandt trash emoji. Then she goes on to hashtag Simone Davis, hashtag Bryce Bryant, hashtag Nene Leaks, hashtag grown, hashtag sad, hashtag help, hashtag children, hashtag I'm done, hashtag reality, hashtag reality TV. And for all that bitching and whining, the bitch got 59 likes and 37 comments last time we checked. You know, this is my thing with this situation, okay? I always find it funny when females think they can come into a situation and change a man, okay? Bryson ain't really been doing shit for his other children. So much so that Nene was telling the girl when she decided to run up and get pregnant, are you sure you want to keep this baby because he's not even being a father to these other kids? But again, because bitches are thirsty and they feel like if they get knocked up by him, somehow they'll have some type of connection to Nene and Nene can put them on. And Nene's smart, okay? Nene sees, sees game from a mile away. Nene's not going to allow any of these fucking baby mamas of her grandchildren to get close to her because she knows they're trying to use her, okay? So my thing is this. This man has been showing you his true colors before he even got knocked up by him the first time. But you chose to have the baby, so why are you complaining? This boy, ever since he graduated and left Nene's house, has not been able to keep a job. Yeah, I remember a few years ago when his ass got caught stealing at Walmart. Your mother's a millionaire, but you're stealing razors and, and bullshit at Walmart. He's never just handled himself. And the sad part is he has all types of connections. Nene could hook him up with anything. She could open up a restaurant for him and have him run it. But because he's immature, he doesn't want to grow up. He just wants to live off of his mother and off of women. That's why she has washed her hands of him. And I don't blame her. So at this point, he's your headache, okay? If you are really tired, his ass would not be on that couch. I would not be sneaking, taking pictures of him. As soon as I walked in my house and you're still doing the same shit that you've been doing, now I'm mad, there's no pictures. I'm grabbing him and snatching him by his legs and telling him to get the fuck about my house, okay? So again, ladies, be very mindful of who you choose to procreate with, okay? Stop getting gassed up because somebody is related to somebody else. Nene Leakes' money is Nene Leakes' money, not her son's money, okay? And the fact that you're sitting here talking about he wants to know when I'm ovulating because he wants another baby, you'd be stupid as hell to find yourself in a situation where you're pregnant with your second child by this man who's not taking care of your first child. He couldn't even make it to the child's birthday party. That says a lot about his mentality, and that shows that he has no parenting skills, no fatherhood skills whatsoever. And it's sad that he has that mentality, you know, that he'd rather just lay around and lay up, you know, under women as opposed to getting his own. But I blame the women. And I know y'all come at me like, you're always blaming women. It's always the woman's fault. At the end of the day, again, this is her house. Her name is on that lease. She's paying the rent. He ain't got no money. So people do what you allow them to do. And if you allow them to shack up in your shit from day one and not really contribute anything, you're creating a monster. You then can't come out, you know, four or five months later after you've been putting it with bullshit and now you're in your feelings. He should have came to the table with something. If anything, y'all should be moving into y'all's own place together where both of y'all's names are on the lease, on the mortgage, and you guys are both taking care of the household together, not him moving in with you. 
So this whole situation is crazy, but again, I feel like this lady is looking for attention. The fact that she's trying to call out Nini and attach Nini to this bullshit when Nini doesn't even deal with her son, she looks like an idiot. She needs to be mad at herself, and she needs to do better for her son. She needs to worry about her son and her son's future because that's the problem is that the cycle continues, and it shouldn't. You know, the whole situation is crazy, but she picked this dude. She knew he wasn't shit to the other baby's mothers. But, you know, people love to come in as the third, fourth, and fifth, thinking somehow their cooch is going to change the whole situation. And then they end up looking like that chick, Eliza Rain, who's the sixth baby mama of future, who can't shut the fuck up, complaining about her situation that she put herself in. So I don't feel bad for this third baby mama. And I don't feel bad for her that when she comes home, Bryson is playing king of the living room as opposed to paying some damn bills, Okay. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Nene Leak's son's third baby mama once again looking for attention via social media and once again trying to attach Nene's name to some bullshit. Do you agree with me that this has nothing to do with Nene and she needs to stop trying to attach herself to Nene and to Nene's brand? And then do you agree with me that at the end of the day, she created this monster and I just don't feel bad for her, okay? People do what you allow them to do. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. Make sure you share the video. And most importantly, hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.